So welcome for a physics lesson. I want us to relate <coughs> EMF and internal resistance of a cell. In full. Therefore, the electromotive force, the electromotive force E of a voltage across its terminals when the circuit is open, when the circuit is open or when no current is being supplied when current is not being supplied so when I say <coughs> is applying any current the total voltage across its terminals we call it the EMF of the cell now when the cell is now in a in a closed circuit, it is starts supplying current, and you find the, the voltage across its end reduces. Therefore, the reduced due to supply the reduced voltage due to supply of current is called terminal voltage. Before you can talk of terminal voltage, terminal voltage, which is the voltage across terminals or the ends of a cell when in a closed in a closed circuit or when the cell is supplying therefore you find <coughs> The terminal voltage is a value lesser than the EMF of the cell. Lesser than the EMF of the cell. Therefore, when a cell is supplying current, its voltage from the EMF, which is total, up to a value we are calling terminal voltage. Therefore, you find there is a difference between EMF and terminal voltage. And that difference, we call it the lost voltage. Therefore, when we check EMF, this is the same as taking terminal voltage plus the lost voltage. The lost voltage. Therefore, you find total EMF now. When the cell starts supplying current, there is what reads across the cell and we call it terminal voltage which is something lower than EMF and that means there is a current the and we are calling it lost voltage therefore the lost voltage plus the terminal voltage gives us the total EMF of a cell now it is important to mention that the lost voltage is due to what we call internal resistance the lost voltage is due to internal resistance of the cell. Internal resistance of the cell, small letter R. Therefore, we talk of <coughs> the internal resistance of the cell, small R, and this is due to the materials made up a cell. You would find that they are not 100% conductors. Therefore, when <coughs> Current is trying to pass from one terminal, from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. It is not 100% conducted. Therefore, you find, apart from an external, the cell itself can experience some resistance. And we call the resistance of the cell. So that internal resistance of the cell leads to what we call lost voltage. Therefore, in a circuit diagram, in a circuit diagram, We can have in a circuit diagram we can have a, a cell connected here 
such that the internal resistance due to which can be represented there if we have you know if we have another resistor here r then you discover that the internal resistance hmm, internal resistance now which will be here internal resistance is in series with the external resistance connected to this circuit diagram. Therefore, we can say that uh, EMF, which is total, so remember that voltage is given by IR according to Ohm's law. So we can talk of EMF being given by the terminal voltage, the terminal voltage. Instead of terminal voltage, we can use the current flowing in the circuit multiplied by the external resistance, then plus the lost voltage. And because they are in series, current is just the same. Current is just the same. Then times the internal resistance. So lost voltage can be given by because series connection. Therefore, we can talk of EMF being given by current and resistance plus internal resistance. Therefore, EMF can be given by I into R plus small letter R, where small letter R is internal resistance. So it is good to say that EMF equals to voltage V, which is here, plus internal resistance lost voltage. So we can leave the lost voltage expressed as I R voltage we use V. If we rearrange this equation such that we start with V then what follows is negative R times I plus the electromotive force Of. When we start with V, remember it means we will tear R to this side, that's why they are becoming negative. Then on this side is where we have electromotive force. force. Therefore, we can say V equals to negative Ri plus E plus E. If we can take and plot, if we can plot a graph. If we plot a graph with current here in amperes, and here we have voltage, the terminal voltage, V in volts, then because of this negative here, and this is the component which has been plotted in the x-axis, then it means the graph will have a negative gradient, and that means that the, graph, the, 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 the slope of the graph will be this way. Therefore, this is how the graph is going to slope. That is how the graph will be sloping because the gradient is negative. Therefore, analyzing this graph with reference to the equation of a straight line, we have plotted V in the y-axis and I in the x-axis. This means whatever is the coefficient of I will be the gradient. Therefore, from this, we can say the slope will be negative r and because this is the term where c is and c is a constant which gives us the y-intercept then you can say the y-intercept will give us e therefore when a graph of voltage the terminal voltage against current is plotted against current is plotted, then it is good to know that we can analyze the graph by taking the y-intercept as the electromotive force of the cell, then the slope of this gradient, the slope of this gradient is the slope of that line is negative r, such that because the graph was, because 
the gradient will still be negative. So that negative is for here, and we will get a positive value of resistance. Therefore, we can just take an example on uh, internal resistance and EMF of a cell. We can just take an example, a calculation. Calculation. <coughs> For example, given a calculation like this, we have a circuit here. When the switch is closed, when the switch is closed, the ammeter reads the ammeter reads zero point one two amps. Find the internal resistance of the cell. Systems. Of this cell. Therefore, for this cell, EMF of the cell. So the total voltage, the total voltage in the cell, which is called EMF, is 1.5 volts. Then when the cell is closed, the current which reads 0 0.12 amperes, and we are told to determine. Okay, we have the external resistance, which is 10 ohms. So we are told to define the small letter R, and we say that. EMF of a cell is given by terminal voltage, which is given by I R plus lost voltage, which is I small letter R. Therefore, EMF, which is 1.5, is equal to I 0 0.12 times 10 plus I 0 0.12 times the unknown R. So this will be 1.5 equals to 1.2 plus 0.12 R. So to remain with 0.12 R, we can have 1.2 subtracted here. So 0 0.3 equals to 0 0.12 R. Therefore, the R in that number is 0.3. This gives us 2. So the internal resistance of this cell is 2.5 ohms. Thank you for following. Subscribe to, to the channel and share the link.